Hi, I'm George Levy and I'm currently in Miami Beach, Florida, where we're under a tropical storm watch. Right now we have tropical storm Gordon causing its effects here in Miami Beach. And it's actually a quite dangerous thing for me to be doing this. But I figured I'd live dangerously and actually prep you up for this week's video, where I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can record messages on the Ethereum blockchain. Best part about it is that once you know how to do this, you'll be able to write your own messages on the Ethereum blockchain permanently and immutably. So even if I get picked up by hurricane force winds and actually get blown away, my messages will still be around. I want you to learn about this and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Stay tuned. In this video, I will show you how you can record messages on the Ethereum blockchain. To begin this lecture, I want to actually show you a message I have hidden on the Ethereum blockchain. In fact, it's on this block which you're seeing right now on etherscan.io. At first glance, it doesn't look like there's anything hidden or written in here. However, what I want to show you is that when information is captured on the Ethereum blockchain, it's not captured directly as text. It's actually captured as hexadecimal characters. And that's what you see down here. In fact, if I can change the view instead of from default, to UTF-8, UTF stands for Unicode Transformation Format, you will see that there is a message in there. I believe we are changing the world one blockchain at a time, and if we use this technology properly, we're bound to make the world a better place for everyone. I hid that message in there because it's a very, very special message to me, and I wanted to capture it permanently and immutably. You may have your own messages which you wish to record inside the Ethereum blockchain, and I'll tell you exactly how you can do that right now. What we're going to need in order to be able to do this is to have access to my Ether wallet. The way you access my Ether wallet is to go to https colon slash slash www.myetherwallet.com. There are multiple ways that you can actually access my Ether wallet. You can actually go directly through my Ether wallet or you can use a hardware wallet such as Ledger Nano or you can use Trezor. I will be using MetaMask. I have MetaMask installed on this browser because I use MetaMask a lot whenever I develop smart contracts on Ethereum. MetaMask allows me to activate those um, smart contracts and actually pay the Ether required in order to run those smart contracts. So for this specific example, I'm going to use MetaMask. You're free to use whether you want to use Ledger, Treasure, or any of the other options presented. As we go forward also, one thing you're going to need to know is that you're going to need to convert your text message onto hexadecimal characters. To do so, you can go directly to this link that I am presenting right now for you. And you'll see a string to hex converter, text to hex. Now, here's what's interesting. If you write any message, hi, I am happy, you can convert that into hexadecimal characters on the bottom. For this specific video, I want to actually record another very special message to me, which is my mission. And what I will do is I will actually paste that onto the converter. And I even have included a link to a graphic, which if you want to see, I encourage you to go see the transaction and view the graphic I embedded. I can convert this now into hexadecimal characters. This hexadecimal character combination that I have here, this string, will be what I will include in that transaction. And I'll show you exactly how you can do that. You will go back to my Ether wallet. And now I will go to MetaMask to log in. Because I have already MetaMask inside my browser, I can actually use it to power this transaction. First thing I'm going to need to do is add the data from this hexadecimal characters that I received. And I will embed it inside this place that says data. Now, another thing that I'm going to need is I will need an Ethereum address which I can send the transaction to. Because what I am really doing is creating a new transaction and embedding a message. So I have an Ethereum address which I'm going to send to. And the amount I'm going to send is zero. I do not really want to send Ether. I just want to create the transaction. And that's important for you to know. In order for me to create a transaction, I don't necessarily need to send Ether to it. What I do need to do, though, is pay the Ether required, or gas, in order to run that transaction. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. I will generate the transaction now. And my Ether wallet will give me the information of the raw transaction and the signed transaction. And when I click on send transaction, it will ask me if I actually want to do this. It will then give me the details of what exactly I am doing. And from here, I will be doing the transaction and MetaMask 
will then activate for me to be able to pay for this. It is now telling me that the cost of the gas for me to be able to run this transaction on the Ethereum virtual machine, that is, to be able to embed this block onto the blockchain, will cost me 47 cents. What I'm saying here is that when I create this transaction, that transaction will be added onto a block by a miner, and that miner will eventually add that block onto the Ethereum blockchain. When that happens, my transaction will be visible for everybody else to see around the world. So let me create that transaction by confirming this. Right now, what I have done is I have paid the required Ether to be able to add that transaction on to a block that eventually makes it onto the Ethereum blockchain. And now what I am waiting is for the miners to create a new block where my transaction will be included. Whenever you run anything on Ethereum, it's not instant. You have to wait until a new block gets mined in order for your transactions and whichever modifications you've made onto the blockchain gets added onto the blockchain. So right now let's see if this transaction actually has been mined. So I'm going to check the transaction status and as I'm going through it says a transaction has been found, it was successfully mined and is on the blockchain. So what we will do now is let's go to that block and see, actually let's go to that transaction hash which is actually a transaction that has been added onto a block and we'll be able to see it on a block explorer. Here it is. We have this transaction which we just created which was just added 48 seconds ago. Right now there are two block confirmations. What that means is that our transaction was in block 6270297 but since then another block has been added. That's why we have two block confirmations. One block and then the next block was already added. If I actually refresh that page I will see that there are even more blocks added because as new blocks get added, more confirmations are made to your transaction. But let's see exactly what we created. We see that the input data down here is illegible because we don't read hexadecimal characters. So let's change the input to Unicode text format. And we see that our message is inside. And now you know how you can create your own messages and embed them on the Ethereum blockchain. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I invite you also to subscribe so we can stay in touch. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, we are changing the world, one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy. Thank you for watching.